Rear Admiral David W. Taylor, an unrivaled naval architect and marine engineer. His quest for empirical evidence transformed naval architecture in the U.S. Navy from a practical art to a science. He championed the need for new facilities and bringing modern research methods of ship design and development to the United States. Taylor was born in 1864 and graduated first in his class from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1885 while setting a scholarship record. In 1888, Taylor graduated from the Royal Naval College in Greenwich and again set a record for highest honors. At the time, Sir William Frun's Law of Comparison was the theoretical underpinning for model testing. These studies were the basis for Taylor's first book, Resistance of Ships and Screw Propulsion, which established Taylor as the leading American advocate for model testing. Upon his return, Taylor brought to the attention of naval authorities that U.S. naval designers lacked experimental facilities, notably a basin for experimentation with small models. His persistence led to the establishment of the first experimental model basin at the Washington Navy Yard. Detail, design, and construction of the basin were placed under his supervision, and the basin was ready for operation by 1899. Taylor began extensive and systematic series of experiments and investigations on resistance to propulsion of ship and the action of propellers. His findings were scientifically analyzed and published in various papers, which led to Taylor's second book, Speed and Power of Ships, published in 1910. By this time, Europe's leading shipbuilders and naval architects were coming to Taylor for technical advice, fully establishing America's leadership in naval architecture. Taylor had the rare advantage of a brilliant mind and a natural talent for expressing himself in concise scientific language. Because of his technical rigor, the Navy allowed Taylor to continuously hold his position as scientific expert and head of the experimental model basin in Washington for nearly 20 years. His work at the basin extended outside of the field of resistance and propulsion and came to comprise several other engineering problems. In 1923, Admiral Taylor retired at his own request after more than 41 years of service. Beyond his crucial role in the development of the U.S. Navy, Taylor's research was also an important chapter in American history. In the 80 years between the end of the Civil War and the end of World War II, the United States rose to world leadership in science and technology. In September 1937, the Navy broke ground on a new model basin in Carterock, Maryland, and shortly before his death, the Navy's research and development community honored Taylor by naming the new model basin after him in 1939. To this day, the David Taylor Model Basin continues to retain his name as a living memorial to this distinguished naval architect and marine engineer. For more than a century, the men and women of Naval Surface Warfare Center Carterock Division have continued Taylor's legacy of technical excellence. Today, Carterock Division scientists, engineers, and support personnel work in more than 40 disciplines, ranging from fundamental science to applied and in-service engineering and the division has earned a distinguished reputation as the birthplace of superior naval technology.